Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back from CES 2015 and in my mailbox was this little guy. This is a full Windows computer on an HDMI stick. So when we saw that Pi 320 from Zotac, we were you know, kind of excited that we could get a PC so small. Well, they keep getting smaller and this is the smallest one I've seen. Forget about mounting it. You can just plug it right into your television uh, and you're off and running. This one is called the Mego Pad and I think this is the one that a lot of folks were talking about. It has an Atom Bay Trail processor inside. Uh, it is fully capable of running Windows 8.1 and it does it uh, fairly well. Uh, the one caveat is that they don't actually give you a real version of Windows 8.1. It's like a pirated version. In fact, when I uh, got it up and running, it said I need to activate Windows. When I went to activate, it said my serial number was invalid. I wrote to the seller of this that I got it from on Alibaba or AliExpress, one of those uh, sites uh, connected to Alibaba. And they said, oh, well, it's a trial version and you got to go buy the real version of Windows. So hopefully they'll uh, work that out, put Windows with Bing on this because really a Windows license costs pretty much almost double uh, what this $99 PC on a stick costs. So let's take a look though at the hardware and pretend that everything is on the up and up on the operating system side. Uh, what I like about it is that it's got a nice amount of storage. It's got 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. So it's got one of those little eMMC drives in, on board, maybe just an embedded flash chip. Uh, it also has a full-size USB uh, interface here, so you can plug in hubs and keyboards and whatnot. We're going to plug in a little Apple keyboard that has a hub on board, so we can use our mouse as well. It is powered by USB voltage at only 2 amps, and you just plug it in uh, right there with an included power adapter, but really any 2 amp a USB power source should work. And the only issue with this is that uh, because it's only two amps, I'm seeing a little bit of a performance degradation as compared to other systems that are also running the same Atom Bay Trail processors. Uh, you got a power button here. You have an HDMI input here, so you just plug it into your television. It does not come with an extender cable, so if you need one of those, you'll have to get one. Uh, but you can, of course, find those very easily if it doesn't quite fit in your uh, situation. Now, on this side, what's interesting is that it has another USB port. This is an OTG port, so you can get an OTG cable, which is also not included. Uh, plug that in, and you can attach additional devices through uh, this side here. But if you had like an OTG memory card or something, you could pop that in without an adapter. And over here, uh, you have an SD card slot, so you can put into, I believe, up to a 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card in here and get... Uh, some augmented storage. So that is pretty much the system. It's really nice though because it also has uh, two gigs of onboard RAM. So it actually has a little bit uh, more than some of the tablets we've looked at that cost about the same as this does. So that is pretty cool. So let's boot this thing up and see how it performs. All right, we've got everything hooked up and plugged in. I do have a little extension cable running here to a uh, HDMI splitter, so I have it running through my video system. Uh, we do have a keyboard plugged in along with a mouse that's hooked up into it. So we've got an Apple keyboard that has a hub built in, so we'll be able to get a keyboard and mouse through that single USB port, but this will also demonstrate uh, how USB hubs work with it. And then I have power plugged into its power port. So what we're gonna do now is just hit the little switch that's on this side of the device here. The little blue light will come on. I'm just gonna switch over to my uh, window here because my TriCaster actually displays things faster than my monitor does, just based on how all this crazy HDMI stuff works. You might see me glitch out a little bit here as things are loading up, uh, but you can see just how quickly uh, this thing loads up our Windows session here. So what I'm gonna do is just pop in and we'll take a look around and see uh, how some things work on it. It's actually a pretty uh, capable little computer. It performs, like I said, about 20% uh, slower than some of the other Atom-based uh, devices that we've looked at. Uh, but again, it, when you're just kind of poking around, it doesn't feel uh, all that much slower here. So we'll go pop into uh, Chrome here, and maybe I'll load up CNN and I will give a quick look and see how that works. But you can see when you're moving around inside the windows and stuff, it does uh, seem to work pretty nicely here. So we'll just pop open CNN and hope my Wi-Fi connected back and it looks like it did. And there you go. It does have built-in Wi-Fi. You could, of course, hook up Ethernet uh, through that uh, USB OTG adapter or, of course, through a hub or something. I do have like this really neat little USB 3 hub that also has Ethernet built in, which will work fine with this as well. So. Uh, but you can see how quickly the pages come up. It does uh, render pretty fast. And CNN, of course, just changed their website and everything's bigger and takes, <laughs> takes longer to load. Uh, but it is able to render things out uh, pretty nicely. The, uh, the Windows stuff uh, also looks pretty nice as well. So uh, it is you know, pretty quick responding, but again, not uh, so fast when we saw uh, some of the benchmarks. I ran the Octane benchmark the other day, and it scores, again, about 4,700 uh, on, that, on that test, and that's about 20% slower than the Asus X205TA, which is running exactly the same configuration specifications as this, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and that same 
uh, Atom Bay Trail processor. But you can see things look pretty nice here. They do scroll around pretty good. And again, for 100 bucks uh, for something you plug into your uh, TV, it's pretty decent. Now, no test of a mini PC on this channel would be complete without Minecraft. And here we are running uh, Minecraft on the device. I did put the OptiFine plugin in, which is a, a little speed booster to give you a little bit more performance out of lower end hardware. Now we saw on the Zotac mini PC, that Pi 320, uh, running with the same exact uh, specifications, the Atom Bay Trail uh, processor, along with uh, two gigabytes of RAM. We saw about 40 frames per second or so with these same quality settings. We're not quite getting that here. Uh, we're getting in the, somewhere in the 20s or so. Uh, so really not a uh, terribly fast performer. And again, I think it's the issue related to uh, voltage on this particular device because the Zotac would take three amps at five volts. Uh, this is only taking two amps at five volts. And I think that is uh, kind of limiting uh, the performance of the processor. It may not be able to burst. I don't know. I'll ask some of my uh, CPU experts to chime in on the comments about this, but we're not seeing uh, the kind of performance that we saw out of the Zotac. And I think that is probably due uh, just to the lack of uh, amount of juice going into this. And of course, on some of those tablets, they have a bigger battery. And usually those tablets actually draw from the battery before uh, they even touch the power uh, that's plugged into them. So that is the Mebo Pad. It is a functional Windows PC on a stick, and it works pretty well. It's a little bit slower than some of the other Atom Bay Trail devices that we've played with, but it is still very usable for web browsing and other light computing tasks. My biggest concern at the moment, and why I really can't recommend it right now, uh, is that they're distributing a version of Windows that they're not licensed to distribute, and they've got to resolve that ASAP because at the moment, you'll get about 30 days of usage out of it before you have to activate Windows, meaning you have to go out and buy it, uh, which of course costs more than the cost of the device. This is certainly eligible to get into uh, the Windows with Bing program, which is that free version of Windows that is coming with low price devices. So hopefully they'll get into that program and then I can recommend it because at the moment uh, you're going to have to buy Windows to be legal and that's going to be a huge expense uh, for something so inexpensive. There will be a BIOS update coming soon that will allow a dual booting with Windows and Android so you can decide which of those operating systems you want to run on your TV. So pretty cool that uh, that will be available very shortly. So hopefully they'll get that licensing issue worked out. If you really want one, I'll put a link below to the AliExpress uh, seller that I got mine from for 99 Nine bucks. It takes a couple weeks for it to show up. It shows up via airmail, uh, but it does get there. And I did find that AliExpress is pretty good about uh, protecting the buyer in these transactions. So you can feel pretty confident that you'll uh, get what you paid for when it uh, eventually shows up. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.